Oh, allow me to introduce J.B. Lugo, our principal at the School for the Blind. Good evening, everyone. I'm like, Julie needs to have a part in this. She's put all of this together. Let's give her a round of applause. Miss Julie Harrison, our music teacher in the School for the Blind. I'm just like so excited for you guys to just sit back, relax, enjoy this time. Um, the kids have put in the hard work. The staff have put in the hard work. It's your job to just sit back and enjoy this performance. I'm so glad you, what, look at this attendance. This is really amazing. Thank you for all being here tonight. And I just have one more little pitch, one more announcement before I let the show get started. We are in the midst of a superintendent search. Did anybody know that out in the audience? It's kind of a big deal. Like we're, we're choosing a new leader for our school and we've had just an amazing interim superintendent. Um, who has stepped in for the past couple years and has really just been such a force for the School for the Blind. And I just really encourage you, you all to become involved in any way that you can as parents in this superintendent search. Like, stay informed, look on our website, um, just, just be involved in any way that you can. Um, the School for the Blind really like needs a strong leader over the school to continue just thriving and doing all that we do. So thank you in advance for supporting us in that way. Um, yeah, Julie's going to say one more thing. And may I just give a shout out? This, the interim superintendent is here tonight. Would you mind standing so we can just say hi? <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Yeah, we just felt like immensely supported by Ms. Tara Spangler. And I just wanted to make sure you all know that um, and can become involved in any way possible with the search that's currently happening. Um, but without further ado, let's get started. Thank you for your patience and enjoy. Sit back and relax. Thank you. Are you all ready? Are you all ready? Okay. Yes.
everybody. Thank you. Thanks for being such a responsive audience so far. I wanted just to kind of take a moment to celebrate this young lady next to me to my right, Michaela Hernandez. <laughs> She's kind of had a banner year. She uh, she auditioned for um, she had the, there was a national like call around the whole nation for um, for pianists and pianists who happened to be, who were blind and in high school high school aged, and she auditioned for it and w they went through a, a myriad of candidates, and um, she had to go through a long process of just sending videos and interviews and, and Zoom interviews, and she was casted. And for a Netflix, for a Netflix, <laughs> she she was casted for a Netflix promotional reel for the movie All the Light You Cannot See. So if you look up on YouTube, Michaela Hernandez, All the Light You Cannot See, you will see her promotional reel. And um, we are just so proud that she represents the blind community in such a beautiful way. And I also want to tell you that she. I'm why am I emotional? <laughs> I think I'm a little tired, but she's amazing. But um, it's also she um, she tried out for Allstate, which is all the best musicians from across the state try out for Allstate Choir. And it's it's really hard. She has to sight read um, music Braille along with her peers who are sight reading print music. I got to be honest, music Braille is harder. It's harder. I'm a print music reader. Music Braille is harder. She has to memorize it in front of a judge, sing it. And she um, was one of the few in the state that made the Allstate Choir. <laughs> Anyways, I thank you, thank you, thank you, audience. She's going to sing the song that she sang for the judge for the Allstate Choir um, audition, and I hope you enjoy. It's called "Say to Mommy." And Michaela, why don't you stand up next to your piano? English teacher is her accompanist.
Okay, so our next song is a duo that me and Layla actually composed. And yes, I'm Layla, and Layla over to my right, she is going to be uh, playing lead, and I will be playing chords. And this is actually a song that we copied from GarageBand, and the B section is just um, something that we composed together. So we hope you enjoy. You looked me in the eye and then I wanted to erase myself Erase myself I didn't want to fall but then I stepped right in I looked down at the ground and then I felt it right within It was too late for me Too late for her <laughs> Took a step forward and tilted your head With a curious glance you stared and I felt dead Oh my god, I think I'm you said hey, and I said hello, what's your name? I'd really like to know about you, too bad I stopped at hello. I just stared, and you grinned, and looked right back, it felt like just one big whirlwind, one big emotional whirlwind. Over the next few days, we got to talking with every single word, I started falling farther, farther and farther for you. You were so witty and so charming, swept me off my feet. You made me laugh, you made me blush. No one could compete. Oh, no one could compete. It seemed too good to be true. I wanted to be with you. We clicked like Lego 
sounds of the clacking of tab shoes. You said, hey, I said, hello, how was your day? You said, better now with the smile. Oh, what a cliche, but it, to be honest, it made my day. I didn't want to fall, but then I stepped right in. I looked up at your face and those eyes, they drew me in. It was too late for me. But that's what we were, a simple cliche. It wasn't made to work, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Any other way. You were so witty and so charming, swept me off my feet. You made me laugh, you made me blush. No one could compete. Oh, no one could compete. It seemed too good to be true. I wanted to be with you. We clicked like Legos with the clacking of tap shoes. You said, hey, I said, hello, I gotta know to you. I feel this way, you said, yeah, I do. But I was scared of what you might say. And that's all we were, er, a silly cliche. I still think you're cute, but maybe it's better this way.
He's a real nowhere man sitting in his nowhere land making all his nowhere plans for nobody doesn't have a point of view knows not where he's going to isn't he for a second to say that there is a maroon Honda minivan with Colorado plates and it has Italian American um, bumper sticker. Headlights are on and car is running. It's in the admin parking lot. I just, we just want to make sure that you're aware and that your car is okay. Thank you.
Everybody. So, um, Ms. Harrison thought it would be a good idea to split um, us into two bands. Um, one band is called the Canines, and one band is called the Lucky Number Seven. But in your winter programs, it will say Lucky Number Six. Um, we do apologize for that. Um, <laughs> um, the Canines will go first with their song. And the lucky number seven will come after. Um, I, uh, by the way, I am the leader of um, one of the bands, and Michaela is the leader of another. <laughs>
One, two, one, two, three. Can't see this. Can't see this. Can't see this. Can't see this. My, 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 my goal hits me so hard. Makes me say, oh my Lord, thank you for blessing me with being blind at CSDB. It feels good when others are around and you're not the only blind kid in town. I'm known. As me and this is a beat that you can't see I told you I'm blind can't see this this is how we live in it y'all can't, can't see, see this looking in my eyes man can't, can't see, see this can't, can't see, see this, this. Okay, audience. 
Jesus, you've been so wonderful tonight. Thank you so much. Jamie, I put my chair right in the way of everybody. Um, I just want to say we have one more song for you. It's worth it. One more transition, one more transition. And we're going to get Pride Band up here for our last song. Um, Pride Band, hold on, though. We just want to transition some Bulldog Band members off. Excuse me, lucky number seven members. Good job. <laughs> While we do this, I just want to say that I have a volunteer who is a music therapy intern who's graduated, but um, they have been coming every Tuesday to work with your kids, and that is Cassie Lewis. Cassie, come on out and wave hello. Cass Cassie has been such a blessing and a gift to us. Thank you so much, Cassie. The kids love you. And the last thing I want to say is... Um, I have uh, the paraprofessional that I get is always a little bit like a lottery. Like, I don't know who I'm going to get working with me. Well, I happen to get like this guy who's amazing at mixing and working the soundboard. And I am just so lucky that Quine Gray just happens to like be my paraprofessional working with your kids this semester. So give Quine Gray. He has such an amazing ear and can hear things that I, I miss, and I have studied my life to music, and he, and he can just hear it really well, and I so appreciate you, Kwayne. Okay, Pride Band, come on up. No problem. Welcome back. So I don't know if you guys know this, but CSDB turns 150 years old this year. It's incredible to think about how the history of this school. Um, Let me just help out my I'll be right back. would like Michaela to kind of teach you the course before we start the song. We'd love audience participation. Michaela, I'm going to work on the stage at some things that are going wrong right now. Do you mind taking over teaching the song? Okay. So Michaela's mic. So as Ms. Harrison previously stated, this um, the school is turning 150 years this year on April 8th. And there was a, um, an alumni of CSDB class of uh, 2013. Um, and she wrote a song for the school. Um, she wrote a song for that band. It's called CSDB. And um, we, um, the lyrics are in uh, your programs 
and audience participation is encouraged for this song. So, we're going to practice the course of CSDB. We're going to sing it once, and then we're going to have you guys join in the second time. everybody for being such a wonderful audience. We love performing for you tonight. We hope you had fun. Did you have fun tonight? Yeah. Good, good, good. 
Um, we, I just have a couple things to say, and then a student has a special announcement, and two students have a special announcement. Um, I just wanted to thank the video crew. Thank you for, for coming tonight and for filming for people who are not, are not here. I want to thank all the staff who helped out tonight. Thank you so much. Jen Aldez, if you're back there, thank you so much for all your help. Kat, Kathy, Kathy Olivier, thank you. Thank you, everybody who came. Uh, Jamie Lugo, of course. And Elijah Lugo, where are you? Yeah. Um, I also uh, want to thank the interpreter. Thank you so much. And I know so many people that um, help us make this show happen. So, okay, okay, we have two quick student announcements and then we can um, call it a night. Um, who wants to go first? Okay. <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you guys having, like, are you good have? Are you having, I can't English. <laughs> are you having a good night? Yay! Thank you. <laughs> I just want to say a big thank you to Miss Harrison. She has helped us so much. We love her so nearly and dearly. <laughs> You've helped us so much, and we want to say a big thank you, both bands. <laughs> so some of you know me, some of you don't, but I have been at CSTV for three years, and I am sadly leaving. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> She, Taylor just wanted to say goodbye and that she loves everybody here. Taylor, did I get that right? And, um, and that she's, we're so thankful for your experience here, Taylor. You brought such light to us. And Taylor is going on to some beautiful, amazing things, and we can't wait to hear your story and what, what happens next, okay? So thank you so much. Everybody, um, Jamie Lugo, is there anything else you wanted to add? Cookies and lemonade in the hallway, and you're going to need staff to help escort you out. We'll be around. Look for us with badges, and have a wonderful night. Thank you so much, everybody.